I'm doing a review on the Texas Cattleman Club series. The book, final book in this series is Her Texas Renegade by Joanne Rock. Um, the new series, um, The Price of Passion, is part of the um, Texas Cattleman Club Rags to Riches series, which start next month. And the debut author for that one will be Maureen Child. This series actually, the last ending of this book had a bit of drama into it. It's not, a, it's not as much as the first five books because they will me out with that one. All of them will me out with their angst and their drama and with their crazy father. But this one, I like the ending of this one because it definitely, um, it definitely got into the background more so of Miranda who was the executor of the will. Um, it definitely celebrated some weddings. It celebrated love. It got a couple back together that been that been from each other for like for ten years. And like I said, it definitely um, definitely tied up a lot of um, strings that needed to be tied. Um, Kai Maddox and Miranda Dupree. Now you would think they have nothing in common, but baby, when them sheets was burning, hunty, child, they had plenty in common between the sheets, honey. Not just that, they both had dreams. They both had business goals. Miranda's doing well with her two businesses. Kai's actually doing well with his business at Wells, too. Miranda wants his to hire his business because his business is one of the best um, software <coughs> security um, in the business. And she wants to um, protect the family bank, which is um, Blackwood Bank. And she, before she turns over to Vaughn, because he's going to be like the CEO owner of it, she wants to make sure everything is good. Now, um, I don't blame her because she knows she's on good terms with her stepchildren now. They all was able to squash their beef and whatnot. And they was able to, um, they was able to, um, They was able to basically get over everything that happened. You know, I had a brain fart for a minute, y'all. Um, they basically was able to get over whatever happened between their dad and stuff like that. And I understand, kind of understood what was going on. Miranda's life wasn't all squeaky, squeaky clean. Because she's not saying she was a bad girl because she wasn't. She just had an effed up childhood um, with her starting with her mother. Her mother was dealing with a, a, a pill addiction. And Kai, on the other hand, he had a lot to deal with taking responsibility of his younger brother after his dad, his dad passed and his mama went away um, due to her reasons. Um, overall, they both had to figure out how the relationship was going to go, the business relationship was going to go. Because when the fact they used to be in a real, uh, they was in a hot affair and they used to uh, sleep with each other. Um, up, down, side to side, nibble, draws us off, everything. Um, they used to bone. So, they had to make sure we could keep it professional. They could keep it professional. Um, you know, there's a lot going on with MedTech. It's just a, it's, it's, a, it's something that happens with them a little later. Um, like I said, doubts come into their relationship and things like that. I enjoyed the ending because I wanted Miranda to get her um, happy ending. I, don't get me wrong. I they never thought Miranda was a bitch. That's what the stepchildren called her. I've always liked Miranda. It was something about her that I enjoyed. Not only that, I enjoyed the way she handled the, her stepchildren with class, grace, elegance. She could have went along and be like, "Oh, f you too. What's up? We could do. We could duke it out, my dude. Or we could take this to court." Miranda was just like, "You know what? Everything ain't what it seems." And unfortunately, Buck put her even in the letter he wrote to her. He put her in a messed up position between them, between that. Um, and then you find out more about a little more about Buck as well too. Although he never had a um bear, he had never really had a good relationship with his kids. You'll find out more about him in the background. Um, like I said, overall this is good. Um, I'm going to put the first five um books of the series. I'm gonna put it in the link bar below so you can check them out as well. Um, start with Texas and um, Texas Inheritance One. I'm definitely going to start with that. Um, I'm so glad that these authors did an excellent job. Also, if you haven't read um, the Mick um, McNeil Magnet, excuse me, the McNeil Magnet series, um, I have the first six books review. I will put that in the link bar below so you guys can check that out. That's one of 
um, her series she did as well with um, Harlequin. Also, she's part of one of the Dynasty series, um, Mess of Falls, her series. I'm going to put the first book in the um, link bar below so you can check that out as well, too. I'm still reading book two on that one, and I got for books three and four as well, which I'm going to definitely um, get into a little later. Um, otherwise, this was a fabulous book, fabulous series. Um, each of the authors did a good job. Um... They bought their own signature writing. They bought it with a bang. I was so here for it. Um, yeah, so I'm definitely excited for the next series, which is the um, Rags the Richer series. Um, I don't know how many books there are, but I think it's probably six to nine, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I will definitely let you guys know. Um, I will definitely update you on that when I find that information out. Um, but I will put the um, first book in the link bar below so you guys can pre-order that as well too. Um, thank you guys for looking at Books, Beauty, and Stuff. Thank you guys for supporting my channel. Um, and you guys just have a wonderful day and I will talk to you guys soon. Also, real quick, I'm going to put the Harlequin, um, Joanne's Harlequin um, page below. I'm going to also put her website below so you can check her books out as well too. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys soon and thank you for watching. Bye now.